So I just took a perfectly good string of hearts <laughs> and chopped it all up into little itty bitty pieces. It was even flowering. I love these little flowers. You can see in there. And I'm going to make some more. So now I've got some um, sphagnum moss and I'm soaking it in warm water and then wringing it out and making a nice thin layer in these old um, breakfast sausage trays. So I'm going through and I'm choosing my strongest leaves and if you can see here I've cut either side of the node that focuses in there either side of the node and yeah the bigger stronger leaves will do better than the the smaller ones like I don't know like that guy or this guy the leaves are very flexible if it um, roots I'll be surprised so there we go just put the other breakfast sausage tray on top so it makes a nice flat propagation chamber now I gotta try to ignore it for about a month <laughs> So here's another method, uh, just some slightly dampened paper towel in a Ziploc bag. Um, and I've put some, made sure that there's a pillow of air in there. They're not all like some are upside down and just see how, how they do in here. Um, but this is pretty incredible because about six months ago, I bought one string with six leaves on it from an Etsy seller and here I am now able to cut it all up and see if I can propagate a, I want a bushier plant with more strings hanging down off the pot here's the mother plant so that six string or six leaves on a string I just wrapped laid on the outside of the pot and it produced all of those strings and all of these so yeah I'm hoping to add back into this pot to make a really nice lush variegated string of hearts so what does a Canadian girl do when this is barreling towards her why I sow seeds of course if you hear crunching in the background that's why <laughs> We have to put his um, food in this funky little feeder to slow him down because he's a little glutton. So today I thought I would chit some seeds. <laughs> um, you've seen this done in the Ziploc bag method with the paper towel. I'm going to kind of do it this way with these uh, sample cups or souffle cups. Don't know what you want to call them, but you can find them at the dollar store. Um, I'm sure. A lot of stores carry them um, and I just put uh, some paper towel in the bottom and then I will put paper towel on top and wet it and then put the lid on and that's it um, I find that the cups will be easier to clean and reuse year after year for this uh, next year I will just put a piece of um, uh, masking tape or painter's tape on top of this and write a new label or rubbing alcohol I think takes the uh, marker off. I should have thought that one through before I wrote on there but I didn't have any painter's tape handy. So yeah, a little hard for me with one hand to to demonstrate everything so I just kind of pre-did this and of course my water bottle isn't working okay so I'm just gonna moisten that I think my camera went off so I'm just gonna moisten that and just tap it in to make sure 
the seeds are all contacting the paper towel and make sure it's wet enough but not too wet pop that lid on now my lavender I'm gonna stick it in the freezer for 24 hours just in case these seeds weren't in cold storage at the facility because they need to be stratus strat stratified stratified <laughs> first uh, now some people will put them in for weeks and you probably should put them in the fridge for several weeks but I'm going to try this 24 hour in the freezer method because I'm impatient that way. <laughs> and we'll see what, what happens. So I've done uh, Munstead lavender. Uh, Vera uh, is an old English lavender. I want to try to do a lavender hedge. Uh, in my zone five, it kind of iffy on if lavender makes it through really tough uh, winters. I have one, I have two that came back last winter, but I also lost two. So um, yeah, I wanna do a whole bunch and see which variety does better. I'm also going to do Fresca strawberries. Now these have been stored in my fridge for a year. So they've been cold stratified. Oh, I didn't have the <laughs> paper towel on top of that yet. Um, and these are an early variety strawberry, not an ever-bearing, which I already have lots of ever-bearing, but I want some nice, big, fat, juicy strawberries early in the season would be nice. And then I'm also gonna try rosemary this way because rosemary takes forever to germinate. So I'm hoping this will be a little quicker. And I've also started uh, a log here, uh, how many days to germinate etc etc so yeah I hope this method works I will update you all so the lavenders are going to go in my freezer and the strawberry and rosemary are going to go right on my heat mat oh my goodness Felix really no <laughs> <laughs>